In this program, we're going to learn about mammals. Mammals are animals that have hair or fur. They can regulate their body temperature and nourish their young with milk. Mammals exist all over the world in just about every region on Earth. Some mammals live in forests, while others live in the Arctic regions. Some mammals live in the desert, and other mammals live in the sea. Some animals make their home on the grasslands. Humans are mammals too. Humans have adapted to live in just about every region on Earth. Various species of mammals are very different in many ways. However, all mammals share common characteristics. Let's look closer at some of the characteristics that are common to all mammals and that separate mammals from other types of animals. All mammals nurse or feed their babies with their mother's milk. Mammals have mammary glands. Mammary glands produce milk. Most, but not all mammals, give birth to babies that are fully formed. This baby zebra was just born. As you can see, it is fully formed and looks like its mother, only smaller. Fully formed babies are a characteristic of mammals. Every mammal is a vertebrate. That means that every mammal has a backbone. All mammals have a lower jaw made of a single bone. Mammals have specialized teeth adapted to a specific diet. Lions have sharp teeth that enable them to tear meat. Cows have broad teeth for grinding plant material. Another common trait of mammals is that they have three middle ear bones called the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. All mammals have, or at one time have had, hair or fur. In certain mammals, like the polar bear, hair plays an important role in conserving heat. An elephant is a mammal that doesn't have body hair. Its hair is found around its ears, nose, and tail. Its hair is used for protection from small particles invading the elephant's body. A mammal can regulate its own body temperature. Mammals create most of their heat through the metabolic process of converting food into energy. All mammals have lungs to breathe. Even mammals that live in the oceans have lungs and need to come to the surface of the water to breathe air. Mammals also have limbs to move. Some mammals use legs to walk. Marine mammals use fins to move through the water. And bats are the only group of mammals that have wings to fly. There are three types of mammals. Let's look at each type. Most mammals are placental mammals. Placental mammal babies are born fully formed. Before being born, the young are nourished by an organ called the placenta. Marsupials are another type of mammal. A marsupial's baby is not fully developed when it's born. So after birth, the baby climbs into the pouch where it will continue to develop and grow for weeks or months.
Monotremes, like the echidna, are primitive egg-laying mammals. After the babies hatch, the mothers nourish their young with milk. Now that you better understand mammals and their characteristics, here's something to think about. Why do most mammals have to eat huge quantities of food? Think about it. <laughs>